Hey guys, what's up? It's already 2016 and it's me, John again, here with another lesson. Oh, but there's nothing on the board, you ask. I know. Today's lesson is... <coughs> be in the mood. Two verb, four noun. Okay, this is a very common expression. It's an expression that we use when we want to express that we want to do something or we want something. It's a, it's a new way to say it, okay? So, I'm in the mood to play a video game, okay? Notice that I put I'm in the mood to play. The basic verb, though. Oh, what's that? To infinitive, is that what they call it? Um, yeah, anyway. I'm in the mood to play a video game. Or you can say for a video game. It's not as specific as saying to play a video game because other people would, would interpret it in different ways, but I guess most of the people would get the picture or they get the point. You know, you want to play a video game, basically. Okay? Another way you could use it is this one. Okay? I'm not in the mood to go out tonight. I'm not in the mood to go out tonight. You know, I'm tired. I don't feel like spending my money, you know. Not in the mood to go out tonight. So you can use it in the negative sense as well. Okay, this is positive. This is negative. But then there's something else. I'm in no mood for coffee. It's the same thing as saying I'm not in the mood to do something or for something. But in this case, we just use I'm in no mood for coffee. Okay? So you have here the positive, the negative, and another negative version. Another way that we use this expression is, for example, when we answer. Like, for example, somebody um, offers to, you know, so, oh, somebody suggests uh, to do something. For example, let's go window shopping. Let's say a friend asks you, hey, let's go window shopping. That's boring. Well, some people like it, okay. But then you say, I'm not in the mood. You don't have to say, I'm not in the mood to go window shopping. Okay? This is just another way to answer a question like that. Okay? Now let's work on some other ways that we use this expression. Well, not really other ways, just uh, some useful expressions that you could use. What are you in the mood to do? Or, what are you in the mood for? You can ask somebody that. What do you feel like doing? What do you want to do? It's just another way to, to say it. Okay. Now, um, I know some of you have probably heard this expression, and you've probably also heard another expression. This one. Be in a mood. Earlier, you learned be in the mood. The mood. Now you're going to learn be in a mood, okay? What this expression means, though, is that you feel gloomy or sad or you feel bad, generally bad, okay? For example, don't give me a hard time. I'm in a mood. But it's not very common, but people would understand it. Normally, we would improve the sentence by saying, I'm in a bad mood. Now, yeah, see, in this case, with be in a mood, you can be specific about what kind of mood you're in. It could be a bad mood, or a good mood, or, you know, strange mood, I don't know, it's up to you, really. How do you feel today? I'm in a good mood. I'm in a bad mood. I'm in a great mood. So, I'm in the mood to go to the park. I'm in the mood for a nice hot shower. Now remember, one of the keys to learning a language, especially English, is to learn different ways to say different things. To say simple things, you know, like, don't just say, oh, I want to do this, or I want to do that, or I want this, I want that. Why don't you say something new, like, I feel like doing this, or I'm in the mood to do this, or I'm in the mood to do that, you know? I'm in the mood to subscribe to Teacher Jones' lessons. 
I'm in the mood to like his lessons. Okay. Anyway, you know what to do. Thank you very much. We greatly appreciate your views, and uh, if you could send some more comments, that would be really cool. You know, like, subscribe. Wait. Today's lesson is to lose one's touch. Now, this is a very common expression in American English. We use it to talk about our skills or when our skills are on the decline. 